Hello everybody, this is Ricky Lee from Pregnant Memories. I have um, quite a few members in my mentoring group that are feeling a little bit stuck and sometimes when we feel stuck and not sure what to do next, it's because we aren't organised enough. So with that being said, I'm going to introduce you to the method that I use to keep myself on top of everything, on track, I'm feeling that I have the ability to tick things off and completely organized. So welcome to Google Calendar. Google Calendar is a feature that I'm not so sure that many photographers use. I use it um, and I have done for the last three years. It's amazing. It seems to most people I would imagine that it's free, it's available to everyone. It can't possibly do what I need. Well, let me show you a few things. I'm going, to, I'm going to go through this as quick as I can because I don't want this drawn out and I don't want you to get bored. So first of all, here we go. We have the calendar. Let's go to month view. Wonderful. We have months. Great. So let's just say, for example, I have a, I, I have a client due. Her baby is due on the 20th of September. So let's say her name is Claire. Let's add her. Claire. Due. Create. Look at that. Now we've got Claire's due. Right. So say we have a maternity session next Sunday. And shall we say it's Alice. Maternity session. Okay. Let's create that. Now let's give it some more details. <clears throat> I double clicked on that, by the way. Let's say that it's before sunset right now at the moment where I am in Australia on the Gold Coast. Um, I would probably start at 4 o'clock. 4 till 5, that's already added. Okay, I'm in the correct time zone. And where? Where is this? Um, let's say, okay, Surfers Paradise, Queensland, Australia. Perfect. It's a beach, by the way. It's a very, very famous beach for those that don't know. Okay, description. I'm going to put her phone number in here. Three, two, one, two, 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 two. Now, she is shy and does not want to show her tummy. Will bring her husband and toddler. Boy, two years. Okay, so there's some notes. Wonderful. It's a maternity session. Let's colour coordinate that. What colour shall we make maternity? I think let's make it orange. Okay, now notifications. Do I want a notification? I sure do. Let's say I want a notification one hour before the session. Just to remind me that um, it's coming up. Some people actually like a notification, say, six hours prior. Let's do that as well. We'll add more. No problems. Okay, so we've added something to our calendar. We've added our session. Great. Now, <clears throat> that's what most people think the calendar's for. They are very, very wrong. Let's go to my calendars. Let's go to other calendars. Wonderful. Okay, so um, let's say we want our reminders. Let's have a look. We can put different colours on here. Wonderful, she says. I'm not really bothered by that. That's okay. We're going to go to settings. Um, let's organise ourselves a little more. I have holidays in Australia and I'm going to show them all. I'm going to go to um, general, general. Okay, so here is all the information we need. Language for me, um, in Australia it's UK, sorry the US people. Country, obviously Australia. Current time zone is correct. Date format, you can um, personalise this and the time format. I'm going to make that 100 hours. Notifications. Use browser notifications instead of interruptive alerts. No, I think I'll keep interruptive, interruptive alerts. Events from Gmail. Add automatically. So this feature is amazing. This feature, if you choose to travel, 
Um, so, for example, I have just booked flights to do a workshop in New Zealand from Australia. I booked my flights. The flights were obviously sent to my email and I was given the itinerary from the travel company. That has been automatically added to my Gmail calendar along with hotel reservations, car hires, all this sort of thing. As soon as you receive an email that is some sort of a receipt or itinerary, it adds to your G um, to your calendar. It's amazing. I don't have to manually do it. I love that feature. Next, uh, default event duration. I Mine are usually um, 90 minutes on average. Default event duration, that's fine. Week starts on a Sunday. I'm making mine a Monday. Event dimming, it um, just means in the past make it dim, which is what I do. Show weekends, you know, la, 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 let's keep move down. Custom view, I like to see four weeks because it means I see four rows from where I am up to. Location, you can say specifically, I would say Gold Coast. Um, I like to see Celsius, display events that you have declined. I don't get invited um, to things. Automatically add video calls, no. And save, and we're good. So let's save that. <clears throat> Next, we can color coordinate. So let's suggest that I have um, home things. So in my calendar, automatically there are Australian holidays, which are automatically green, but we can change those colorings if I choose to. So they're in here. We can customize all different things and color coordinate. So for those people that have a little bit of OCD, you're going to end up with a very pretty calendar. One thing that I want to show you is tasks. Tasks will create the overall experience of the calendar. Now I have to show you how to set the, the tasks up and I'm trying to remember how to do that right now. It has to do with reminders. Switch to tasks. Okay, so now we have tasks. Look at this panel over here. It's amazing. So useful. Right, so let's say um, we had a session over here um, and Jill's maternity session was there okay so we had that last week what I do after my session every time I come home when I'm when I'm taking um, my photos off my SD card I create over here a task Jill's gallery which means Jill's gallery needs to be done I'm going to edit the details and give it a due date so um, Let's just say my I normally give a gallery within four days. So one, two, three, four. Let's go to the eighth. So hang on, sorry, from the fourth. It should have been due yesterday. Never mind. And I go back to list. So now I have her due date there. The better thing about this is that um, <clears throat> we can create more lists. New list. So what I'm going to do is galleries to do. Okay. Let's create another list. Orders to do. Okay. New list. Invoices to do. Okay. So now we have three um, these types of where are we? Lists. And if we go back to the original list, <clears throat> gallery, Jill's gallery. Well, where should we put that? If we click on edit um, the gallery, um, edit the, the task, we can go move to list, galleries to do, and click go back to list. So that's now nothing. Okay. <clears throat> Wonderful. Jill has just emailed me her order. Fabulous. We all love orders because it means we're going to get paid more money. So she has specifically said um, that she wants, I don't know, 15 photos and I've got it all there. What I would normally do is I would copy all of that. I would go to her galleries to do and I'm going to come down here <clears throat> by clicking the arrow. I'm going to edit this. Jill's order. Notes. So she wants 
photos 1, 5, 8, 15, 29, 28, 30, and so on and so on and so on. She wants 45 in black and white. She does want, oops, sorry. Oops, there we go. She wants that one in black and white. Um, and we go on with her order. Great, she's ordered, but she hasn't paid yet because I have to invoice her. Well, that's okay. Let's go to our invoice list. Invoice Jill. Great. Once that gets done, let's give that a due date. Let's say we've got to invoice oops, her tonight, actually. Let's put that there. But I, I'm in the middle of picking up the kids. I'm in the middle of um, trying to get the dinner ready in the middle of – so I've got the kids. I've got home. Um, I've seen that message. She's ordered. Okay, great. I've just I I have to remember to do that invoice later on, so that I don't forget. I've put it into my calendar. Took two seconds. Now, um, I've sent that off. Great. Let's tick that off. Once she has ordered, we're going to move this to orders to do. Pretty simple, right? So let's go to our orders. Great, but she hasn't paid yet. Ta ding! My bank account, my bank account notifies me she's paid. So let's put a P there to know that she's done that, and now we can get on with her order. Wonderful. Oh, look at that! We've done Alice's session all of a sudden. We've moved to Sunday. Alice's <coughs> session has occurred. So let's go back to um, galleries to do. Alice Gallery needs to be done ASAP because I'm going on a holiday, so I need to do that tomorrow. Uh, sorry. Look at that. Okay. Now, um, that day also I did a newborn shoot. So I did Bev's newborn girl. Create. Now I need, I've done it. And now I need to add her gallery to it as well, Bev's gallery. So now I've got, if I want to look at my priority, I've got an order that's paid and I have galleries to do. Okay, so um, let's get Alice's gallery done because she needed that tomorrow. So let's suggest that that's done now. I've done it. I'm going to move that. I'm going to, sorry, I'm going to change this and I think uh oh well hang on I've done a gallery but what's in between we're going to create a new list which is clients to choose okay so back to the galleries the galleries are done let's put um, Alice's into it's done and we're just waiting for her to choose oops sorry I clicked the wrong one great um, <clears throat> now I really need to get our order done. Okay, we've skipped a few days. I really need to get this order done. So I'm going to work, 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 and guess what? I finished it. I can take it off, which is amazing. What else do I need to do? Gallery. Oh my gosh, I've got to go back to the gallery. So let, then we can get the galleries done. So this will keep you organised. I will log out of my daughter's pretend account in a minute and I will show you mine. <coughs> Sorry, my children aren't very well and they're um, coughing in the background. Next um, thing I want to show you is the most amazing thing about all of this. So when we were doing this maternity and I put this in, the amazing thing about this is that if you have Google Calendar and Google Maps on your phone, on your Android phone or your um, any phone, iPhone, whatever, this is all automated. So you get these notifications with on your phone. Not only that, but once it comes up with a notification to say, Alice's maternity session is soon, but you're about to drive off, you tap map. And this all comes up on your phone. 
it gives you the GPS location and you can get your directions straight to the direct um, literally you just click directions and it gives you from your location um, to the resulting location of your maternity session or your session it's amazing not only that the phone number right here becomes becomes clickable so if you need to call your client or message your client at any time you press it with your finger on your phone and it automatically makes the phone call or makes the message straight up no mucking around it's so simple um, next of all <clears throat> let's go back Google Calendar turn on your weather I can now I actually had a photo shoot today right here on the ninth look at the weather it was raining. This warned me yesterday, but I decided to ignore it. And today I had to reschedule my my maternity session. Um, so I um, you can use this to gauge the weather in the next four days. It's amazing. Um, what else can it do? You can put all your personal things in. So say your children do sport. So let's say child one. BMX create and then you can do that recurring edit event let's make that recurring repeat weekly yep on a Wednesday done so now you know hang on yep yeah. now you know and let's make that children let's make children events yellow all events so let's make that yellow so now you know that you can't book a, a session in on the Wednesday um, because you always have this recurring session. So once you start to build up quite a few um, sessions, this will change your life. We've got the to-do list down here. We can see that we still need to do this gallery. Fine, let's do the gallery. Now let's move it to, we're waiting for them to choose. It's out of our hands now. Wonderful, galleries is empty. Let's put, um, what I do is I say due dates um, in one colour. I put my maternity sessions a different colour and I put all my personal things in another colour. So I'm going to be very brave right now and show you my real one. My very real one, guys. Here we go. So this is what my calendar now looks like. I have... Now you get to see everything. Um, maternity session on Sunday. It's clear, so I shouldn't have to reschedule that one. I've got a due date. I've got someone. Oh, this lady was due and she's had her baby. So I'm actually doing that session. So I need to edit that event and say newborn girl. Okay, so that's my session there. I also have a maternity session the same day. Um, I've got another newborn session on Tuesday. My children do BMX on a Tuesday afternoon. Um, I've got these green ones. They are people that um, I have to do orders for and that are due. I've got my daughter's appointment here for a doctor for her arm. I have another family session. Then I've got a cake smash. And then I'm going camping, by the way. I'll let you all know about that soon. School holidays, really important to know. But let's have a look. At my tasks. I'm just going to refresh this because my tasks. There we go. All right, so orders to do. Once you get quite a few, look at this. Waiting to pick. Look at all the people that are just recent. These are recent clients within the last month that are still picking. So now you can start to see with this amount of people, trying to keep track of them is impossible. So you need a to do list, you need your tasks. And then it's so simple. So if Portia chooses, then I can just move. I can move her to orders at a click of a, just one click of the mouse. So simple. Um, everything is color coordinated. I move down. You can see what, what it's like. And if I go back, go back through um, the last few months, you can see all my sessions, all the things that I've done. I can even compare last year. In, um, let's say I wanted to compare last September to this September. I was actually moving country, but um, I could compare my, because you can go back through old dates. So, 
There is a lot to be said for having an organized calendar and to-do list. It will change your business. This is free. Not only is it a calendar, but it integrates with your phone. It syncs with your phone. So you know what? When I, on Monday morning, I have this one. Um, let's not click on it too much. Um, I have this one on Monday morning. Wonderful. I'm going to get a notification. I'm going to drop my children off to school. And then it's going to give me another notification letting me know that I've only got half an hour to get there. It's going to come up on my screen. I'm going to go, great. I'm in the car. Guess what? I need to know how to get there. Click Maps will automatically open and it will start giving me directions via the voice activation on my phone. I don't have to do anything. I don't have to check maps. I don't have to remember her. I don't I don't have to do anything. It's also got all the notes on the things that we've discussed for her session in there as well. Same with Melissa. So I seriously suggest, I really highly recommend using Google Calendar and Tasks. I even for those that are on iPhones or iPads, please download Google Calendar and Google Maps. It will change the way that you do things. It really will. This this has saved my life. Um, and if you start to get a little bit naughty and you don't put in the things that you've done, such as I've done, um, I don't, this isn't true, but if I had done Kelly Hunter's newborn boy and then I didn't actually put that in my to-do list, oops, guess what? It's still sitting there. I did the shoot. I can just refer back to my calendar to quickly update my to-do list. It's all there in front of me. I'm not, not only this, but I can actually go over. I can see everything at a glance. So the next four weeks, this is my life. I can see how many sessions I've got, what I'm doing, when and how. Um, and then I can, if someone calls me from the school and I need to go in for a meeting and they want me to go in, Say next Wednesday, I'm at my computer, I'm editing, and they say, hi, can we please book you in for um, Wednesday to come in and have your parent-teacher interview? Sure can, because I can see it at a glance. If you're not already using this, please do. There's nothing more I can explain about it. You can color coordinate. You can tick things off. I love to tick things off. So with these little boxes, that is what I do, and it feels great. It's the same as scribbling off on your pad or on a diary. You can, like, when you put the line through, the ticking off is just as satisfying, I promise you. Um, the color coordination is amazing. I love that too. I haven't been using that as much lately, but it's it's lovely too. Um, the fact I love the fact that it will um, notify me. Another purpose I have for this is when I set, okay, when I have a range of photo shoots in one day, so let's say I'm doing a newborn at 9 o'clock in the morning, okay? I'm also doing a cake smash at 10.30 tomorrow. Then I have a family session at 2 o'clock tomorrow. And last of all, I have a maternity session. This is sometimes what happens on my weekends when I have them all in a row in one day. I've got to keep on track of time. So let's say that, that that's how that is. Oops. Okay. So I have all those sessions in one day, which does happen to me, like I've said. Right, my newborn session is here, but my cake smash um, is at 10.30, which means I need to leave that... Obviously, my timing's wrong. Just ignore. I do not do a newborn session in an hour. But let's say I have to leave that newborn session by 10.10 10 to be at this cake smash on time because I go to their um, location and their homes. Right. Well, that's okay. Why don't I give myself a warning to let me know that it's really time to pack up at the newborn session? I've got to start winding down. So let's go to the cake smash at an event. Notifications. I don't want an email account. I just want a notification. So um, this one's at 10.30. So let's say 40 minutes before that, which will give me 20 minutes to, wipe, um, to wrap up, I get a notification on my phone saying, beep, 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 beep. And that just reminds me, doesn't tell the parents what I'm doing, it just reminds me that I need to actually start packing up now. Then let's add another one 20 minutes prior because that is when I've got to leave. Okay, so then I go, okay, 40 minutes before, yep, 
that's my warning. I'm going to start packing up now. 20 minutes. Okay, I really have to say goodbye now. And um, thank you for your time and get out of there. So let's save that. Next one, family session. Okay, well, I've got a little bit of time between. I can probably go have some lunch and stuff. So let's just um, make that notification to my phone. 25 minutes. Great. Oh, I see. I've got a family session, but then I've got a back-to-back -back maternity session. They are at the same location, so that is a lot better. But I'm still going to need a little reminder that I need to start winding down. So let's give my reminder 30 minutes. Let's add another notification and say there's um, 10 minutes until the next session comes. Um, I should really say goodbye and and all that stuff. So we've saved it. So now, not only have I got all my sessions in there with the locations, with the colour coordination and all that sort of thing, um, I now have notifications to get me out of the, the, the current um, session that I'm in and reminders to start winding down, using it as an alarm clock to get me to the next session. And that, honestly, is how I keep on time. Some days, um, I remember in Auckland, because of the daylight savings, um, last year I was doing up to five sessions, maybe six sessions a day. They are not mini sessions. I do not do mini sessions. These are all full sessions. So I'd be working from 7 o'clock in the morning right through to, say, 8.30 at night. And this system kept me on track. It kept me on track. Then when I got home, I would put all those six sessions straight off my SD card, straight onto my computer, and while they were copying across, I was filling in my tasks, galleries to do. You can even add one to say sneak peek, sneak peek to do. Um, the best thing about this situate this um, tasks is you don't actually. Let's go to galleries to do. Okay, so um, okay, let's go newborn gallery. You don't actually have to retype anything. All you're ever doing is moving it to the next list. Um, so waiting to pick. Let's move that one to waiting to pick. So when we go to waiting to pick, newborn gallery is there, but I change that to to pick. Okay. One other thing I did forget to mention is that when I put their names in my calendar, it's usually through email or Facebook. Facebook is probably ninety percent of the places that I the ninety percent of my odd um sessions are booked through Facebook. And I copy and I paste the spelling from their name into my calendar. So when I put their session in here, I copy and paste their name and the spelling. Then from there, I copy and paste the name and spelling from here and I put that into my tasks. Why do I do that? One, to make sure that I've got the correct spelling. But not only that, two, if for some reason I can't remember what on earth we were talking about or I need to contact them again, I can go back to, so for example, I had a Melissa the other day that was spelt um, completely different. It was M-E-L-Y-S-A. And had I typed that manually, I would have got that wrong. But I needed to go back and check and check something with her. And when I typed in just a quick search for her um, name, it didn't come up. And I thought, why on earth is it not coming up? I can't find Melissa because I was spelling it. The, the usual way and then um, I thought what have I done wrong so I came back to my calendar found Melissa and went oh of course so again I copied and pasted it and put it back in my um, Facebook message message search and she came straight up and there was our conversation so there's another tip always copy and paste your client's name but anyway, I think that's more than enough to get you guys going for now. This will give you incentive. It will give you drive. You'll feel like you're on top of the world. You'll feel like you're on top of your business and you will feel like you're in control again. So please, if you haven't got another system, try this. If you feel like you're out in the middle of the ocean and don't know what you're meant to do next or what you even have going on, you can't see past the horizon. You can't even see past the, the wave that's next to you. Please give this a go. You haven't got anything to lose. Set it up, trial it. If it's not for you, give something else a go. But until then, I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. Enjoy, everybody. Have a great weekend.